I think it is extremely important for us to consider the fact that we are divine beings. Because we are divine beings, if we get too attached to time, we could potentially become very disrespectful to our journey. There are things we can miss that if we weren't so pressed, we weren't in such a rush, we weren't, we weren't grieving time. Some people grieve time. Oh, all that time I wasted. Oh, I've been in that relationship for seven years. I wasted all that time. That is blasphemous. If you think about the reality of God. You hear? There is no time wasted. Let us make sure that we are respectful of our divinely ordered journey. Yes, there are things that we got to we need to work on, we need to improve, but don't devalue the experience that showed you what you need to improve. There's still value in every single experience that you've gone through. All is divinely ordered. Don't grieve time. Don't chase time. Stop rushing so much. Because in your rush, you're missing stuff. And you wonder why you keep having that, having to, to go through that thing over and over and over again. You keep on having to go through that same thing over and over and over again. Slow down the process. You will see, God will show you. That just happened to me today. You know, I, I have had, I'm, I, I, I'm, I have a situation where I'm dealing with a person um, that has certain tendencies. And I oftentimes just kind of just ignore it, brush it on because of time. Like I ain't got time. You know what I'm saying? Like we I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time to even, let me just ignore it. <laughs> I ain't got time for it, right? So today though, I slowed down and I did not ignore it. I did not ignore what was happening. And most High showed me something. And it guided me on how I should deal with that person and what I should say. And I'm so glad I slowed my mind down because I was falling into what I usually, how I usually um, handle it or how I usually react to it but it was time for me to handle it in a different way so that I can once and for all be past that because it was all me, the reason why I wasn't past it because I wasn't slowing down. So the most I can show me how to handle this situation. We tend to want to hurry up and ignore it, hurry up and get over it, hurry up and, you know, like, no, relax. Relax. It's like we be in the gym, we working out, and we know it's like, oh, I want to get through this. <laughs> uh, hold on. To build that muscle, you got to slow it down. Slow that thing down a little bit. Let it build. Let yourself learn. So, so you know, that slowing of the pace is very important on our divinely ordered journey. If we really, really get to grasp that this journey is divinely ordered, we will release the rush, we will release the stress, we will release the anxiety, the worry, and we will get still, get quiet, slow down so that we can hear. Because what happens is if you keep practicing that, you're gonna see how amazingly on point you begin to be. How you start to hear stuff you never heard, see things you never saw, resonate with things you never resonated with. Slow down. No rush. Enjoy the journey. I love how they said it's, it, 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 time is the same as it has been and will always be. We ain't running out of time. If anything, we, we, we rushing ourselves to the grave because of the stress. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. 